at some point in your life, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's the day after, or whether it's a few years from now, you're going to be faced with a very weird circumstance. You're going to be faced with the idea of what is my passion? What am I here? And what am I put on this earth to do? And that's what I'm here to help you with. And the reason I'm here to help you with this is because I couldn't find my passion for the longest time. Didn't know what my passion was, but I'm here to share how one might find his passion. And I'm basing all this off of what Robert Greene said, because this touched me in a way that one might not want to be touched. <laughs> It's the thing as a kid that you lock your door to do. And for instance, one of the things that I like to do is, and I, this is just so that you can get a reference, is I would lock my door and I would record videos. I would pretend to record videos if I didn't have a camera. I would, I would record videos if I did have a, ca a camera and I just talked to myself and I'd make like Lego videos or I'd make skateboarding tech deck videos or whatever it was, but I was always making videos and that inherently led to me wanting to do this is wanting to make videos and wanting to publish content for people to in one enjoy, but improve other people's lives. And that's what my, my mission and what I'm here to do. But when you look back on your childhood, you gain a lot more understanding of who you are and what you can become. You know, one thing that people don't do is they don't look back on their childhood because they want to grow up too fast. You know, we all said as a kid, I can't wait to grow up. But then when we get older, we want to look back on our past. And that's one thing you should be doing, because if you're not looking back on your past, you're not becoming a true whole version of yourself because you could be leaving a lot of trauma in the past. or You could be leaving unsolved questions in the past or unsolved answers. But what is that thing that you did that you locked the door to do? Did you lock your door to read? For instance, a lot of people would like to read because it was an escape from reality, maybe an abusive household. Maybe you lock the door to compose music or play a musical instrument, but really low, you know? We all try to be very secretive when we lock the door because I would like to think about it, it was a castle. You know, our room was a sort of a castle, so when we locked the door, we, we would bring up that drawbridge, right? And nobody could kind of get into the safe haven. Mom, maybe somebody could hear us outside of the safe haven because I was always worried. I'm not too worried now, but I still kind of am that people are overhearing what I'm saying to the camera because it is kind of silly for me to sit here and talk to a camera, even though I'm talking to you, but in this reality, I'm talking to a camera. You know, you're maybe playing the musical instrument on quiet, or maybe you're reading a book underneath the covers, or maybe you're playing games underneath, whatever it is. Like, it could be anything, and but it all starts with an idea. It doesn't have to be that, okay, what I'd like to do is read books, but now I'm going to read books for the rest of my life. That's not what I'm saying, but maybe it's that I like to read books, but I always kind of had a feeling that I'd like to write a book. And so those little things that you look back on in your past and go, hmm, I like to do that, but how can I spin it into something I might enjoy? You know, I like to read books, so I might have to read a lot of literature to understand how to write a book. You can see where I'm going with this. I like to record videos, but maybe I don't want to record videos. Maybe I want to publish videos. Maybe I want to be somebody who helps somebody with their search engine optimization, or maybe I'd like to watch movies. I like to watch movies and I like to look at scenes and how cool they were, but no, I don't want to be a director. I want to be a secondhand man to the director. I want to be a stage prop artist or whatever it is, but you can spin it in many ways. But finding your purpose is always going to be a calling for you. You need to understand what is my purpose and what am I here to do? Because I do find that if you don't know what your purpose is, you kind of feel like you're just walking around. You kind of feel like I'm just existing. And that feeling of existing is kind of gross because it makes you feel like the life is pointless. You know, have you ever talked to somebody who seems so down on themselves? I highly doubt they knew what their purpose was. Interesting. But if you find somebody who actually knows what their purpose is, if you can find somebody who has an idea for what their purpose is or has an idea of what their higher calling might be, it's a joy to kind of talk to them, isn't it? You know, everybody talks about how, you know, you might have tomorrow or you, you have all this time to find your passion. You have all this time to figure out what you want to do. I'm going to go against that today. I'm going to say, do feel pressured to find out what your passion is. And the reason that I'm saying that is because you really do need to feel pressured to find your passion. Because the quicker you find out what it is you want to do, the quicker it is you can take action on whatever it is that you want to go after. You don't have time. I don't know where this thought of time has gone, but people say they have time to do a certain thing. You don't have time. You really do not have time to go out and find your passion. You really do not have time to set up a financial blanket for your kids for when you're older. You really don't have time to do anything in life because tomorrow is never guaranteed. So how can you sit here and tell me that you have time to find your passion? While you do, in a sense, you don't, in a sense, because tomorrow's not guaranteed. As a young man, I see, very, I see a lot of people who won't go after a certain thing because they think they have time. They think they have time to mess around. They think they have time to take time off. You don't have time to take time off. You don't have time to fuck. Oh, I almost just swore you don't have time to mess around. And it really does irk me. It really does drive me up the wall because there is no time. Time is limited. Time is not guaranteed. The only thing you're guaranteed in life is death. And you're guaranteed death just like I am. Find your passion. Figure out what it is today. Figure out what it is right now after you've done this video. Sit down with a pen and paper for the first time in your life and actually chart, start to jot something down. Write it on your phone. If you don't like to write, write it down on your phone. Write it down on notes on your computer. You need to figure out your passion. 
There is no way around this conversation with me and you right now. If you cannot find your passion, you might as well just exist. Don't let the world tell you what your passion is. You need to figure out what your passion is and have the courage to go after your passion. Who cares what Becky says? Who cares what Jerry says? They can go F themselves. I don't care what they say. It's between me and you right now. Me and you, the higher version of yourself, and it always should be. You should be competing with your higher self, and you should realize your higher self is sitting there waiting for you. But are you ever going to man up to the situation and say, you know what, I need to find my passion, I need to go after my passion? What is it? Ask yourself that question. Sit alone for once. Have you ever thought about sitting alone in the dark? Have you ever thought about confronting your thoughts and turning around and facing the demons? Have you ever thought about saying hello to the person that you could be? You probably haven't, but you can today. You need to sit your butt on the ground, in the dark, no phone, put your phone away, turn your phone off, and actually have a conversation with yourself. Because once you start to figure out who you are, you cannot help but find your purpose. Your purpose is literally sitting right there. But you've been so in denial of the fact, you've been denying yourself this time with yourself because you've been so distracted by Instagram reels and TikToks that you haven't figured out what your purpose is and who you actually are. Turn the phone off, go sit down in a corner, go sit down in the middle of the room, and just breathe and be and confront your inner child, confront your inner demon, confront whatever it is that's holding you back from finding your purpose. Because if you can sit alone in the dark, you will be comfortable with yourself.